Get you, boys. I guess I'm in charge. I might just let it keep going, huh? I can talk over it. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. I'm back to win this the motherfucker. Yeah, I might, dude. I like that shit. Jimmy. That's my that's my shit. You're going down. No, no, no. That's where you're going. No, go. dude, I ain't going down, dude. I'm coming for what? trivia. That's why I asked him last week. Best questions yeah. ever, man. You got Regis oh. Philbin out here. Oh, we got Black Super Bowl-themed trivia. We got some Super Bowl. We got oh, Super Bowl trivia. again, boys. Oh, Blackjack. Matt's never been to a casino, though, man. So, that you know, he doesn't know what Blackjack is. Well, and you oh. don't know how to play Blackjack. And I don't, well, I don't know how to count. Play. So no, I know how to play blackjack. I just fucking the counting thing. I need to go yeah. to a casino, man. Both of cool. you need to get your lives right. Yeah. Learn the table. Learn how to gamble. Let's fucking yeah, go. beers and bets, man. I mean, I know, how to, I know how to gamble. It's just not at, at a casino, man. I Barely. gamble on my computer here. It just sounded like Palpatine. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. What the fuck? Ugh. All right, Brad, take it Jimmy, away. You're up first. I think you've always gone second in blackjack, so we'll let you go first. Hit me. Got a, what is it? Fuck you. A four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm going to double down. Radson? All right. (laughs) Face cards are good in this game. That's right. I promise I just shuffled these. I doubt the it. King? Oh, oh 14. Is out of- I'll take that. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna I'll, get I'll give both you guys both cards, and then let you, me just let me hit an ace and let's just end it. Oh, that's not good either. 14 and a 15. 15. But now so Jimmy, Jimmy has to decide first. Right? Jimmy, you're at a 14. Hit, hit. seven. Fuck. That's a bust. Easy. Oh boy. I guess uh, that's mad. I mean, I'm going to stay. Yeah. Oh, I know Blackjack well voice. enough to stay. Yeah. yeah. Sure <laughs> hit that, man. What the fuck? All right. Well, we got our order now. Fucking bullshit ass rig deck. And we'll start I'll it receive. off at least. Learn how to yep. count. You want to go first? Yeah. Okay. He will receive. Von Miller had another big Super Bowl with two sacks. Now it's four and a half in his career in the Super Bowl. He's tied with someone else for first all the time. Who's he tied with? Is it Justin Tuck, Teddy Bruschi, Charles Haley, or Willie McGinnis? Well, I know Willie McGinnis has a good postseason track record for sacks, and he probably played in at least two, maybe three. And I gave you four and a half as the number. Yeah, four and a half. So Justin Tuck's also a tempting option, though. Damn. Brewski and Haley, I, I don't know enough about fucking Haley's career with the because he played for the Cowboys and Niners. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go the opposite way. I'm gonna take Haley, even though I don't Fuck. fucking know much about him. I'm gonna go with Haley. Fuck, Man, you got it. Oh, Fuck, baby. I knew He's that. Cowboys in the Niners. God right? damn it. So, yeah. There we go. Fuck He's off. Four go. Five Super Bowls. Five you got so Bowls. lucky because I knew yeah. that fucking answer, man. <laughs> All right. I might bail you out with this one here. You got first dibs here. We well, already duh. talked about Burrow's uh, 75-yard TD to Higgins. It took 12 seconds to start the second half. It tied the record for fastest touchdown to start the second half in a Super Bowl. Who was the other player to do this? Was it Percy Harvin? Yeah, Marcus Allen, Willie Parker, or Musian Muhammad. Uh, Percy Harvin nailed it. Yeah. And right. they beat it's the, the shit Broncos. out of your Broncos. Broncos. That's why I was like, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he knows yeah. that because it's a personal yeah. memory. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was a kickoff, <laughs> well, a kickoff, kickoff yeah. touchdown. There, we went yeah. out and roasted a couple bongs in the car, and then came back in, and yeah. uh, there was, they, and then they returned the kickoff, and that was. Yeah. I was like, "All we right, I got my it. mind we right." Yeah. And then they <laughs> took that to the house, and I was like, yeah. "So you guys want to go back?" Yeah. Sorry, You're smoking <laughs> the bowl in the car, thinking, <laughs> "Oh, we can, you know, we Who can work it right right here." Happened. And then opening kickoff, zoom, person. I oh, sat down in the fuck. fucking chair, and I was like. <laughs> But, All right, uh, dude. Fuck Percy this, Hall, you was fucking you cool, were in a bad dude. Mood before that, yeah. But it's a shame you, Percy Harvin had some <clears throat> problems off the field because he was cool. And Percy Harvin's a badass name. I like that. Yeah, too. he was yeah. a playmaker too. Well, man. he got jacked too. You remember by the end, he was a little yeah. ball of muscle. Here we go with the next one now, Matt. You're up. 
Mm -hmm. We're 1-1. One, one. You guys have clearly dominated my challenge so far. Uh, longest touchdown pass thrown in the Super Bowl was 75 yards. Who threw it? Terry Bradshaw, <laughs> Jake DeLome, Eli Manning, or Rich Gannon? Um, I you Burrow said it was out. 75 yards, I but this Burrow is before out. Burrow. Okay. I left Burrow out. I mean, I've, I've kind of banked on you both knowing. And Burrow the options <laughs> are Eli. The options are Eli, Gannon, Bradshaw, or uh, Jake DeLome, DeLome, right? Yep. Did Jake DeLome throw a bomb in that one against the Pats? I don't remember if he did. What are the options again? Just read them real quick. Terry, uh, yeah, well, while Matt's thinking, it's Brad Terry Bradshaw, Jake DeLome, Eli Manning, or Rich Gannon. Who's the only other quarterback throw a 75-yard bomb? Rich Gannon threw some deep ones in that Super Bowl, but I don't know if there was one that was 75 yards. That was against the Bucks. If it's Rich we, Gannon, and I don't we, take we need like a clock in the, in the bottom ass. corner. Here. Yeah, I know we don't know how funny do. that be. Like, we like do. 60 second clock. Maybe people like us processing our answers, though. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> hey, they get to hear the options plenty of times. So that's one thing we don't get complaints on. No, it's not Rich Gannon, and I don't think it's Eli either. So fucking. Jake DeLome or Terry Bradshaw. Let's go with fucking Terry Bradshaw, man. Let's give it a shot. That is incorrect. Damn. Wow. I would go Jake DeLome. Honest advice, Jimmy. I don't think the other two did it. I don't think it was Eli. Jake DeLome, Eli, or Rich Gannon. 75-yard touchdown. Rich Gannon didn't play for any any Super Bowls outside of that, right? So the Bucks that, Raiders, yeah. And there was the he was in one Porter, and there was a deep touchdown that they reviewed deep Porter, but it wasn't a seventy five yard. So then there was a deep one to Rice, but it also was. I think <laughs> I love it. Yeah, man. And what was the other guy? Delome, Jake Delome, Eli Manning, Rich Gannon. It's Eli didn't hit what twenty five yard touch. I don't. Yeah, no, nah, I'd remember. So it has to be. It has to be Delome. He hit it to yeah. Mushin Muhammad, I think, yes. on the sideline, and he put the ball. I kind of gave a hint earlier because I threw in on that earlier question. Like, Mushin was had the option. longest. He's the longest receiving. I touchdown. remember that. Willie Park was the longest rushing touchdown. Rushing. Mm. Yeah, but all right. Jimmy's I remember that two play. One, and the ball is in Jimmy's court here. Well, you, I always throw in a special teams one, so you guys are fucked with this. Not great. Appreciate what that. is what is the longest field goal ever made in the Super Bowl? 52, 54, 56, or 58? I went even numbers, so I wouldn't have to repeat it a bunch. 52, 54, 56, 58. I'll go 54. Nailed it. Damn it, oh. that was my instinct, too. Oh, nailed it. Fuck. Let's nailed it. Go, baby. Some real number just sounded about Who hit it? the momentum. It was uh, a Bills kicker, I believe. Oh, that's surprising, actually. Wow, <laughs> yeah. It didn't go right, <laughs> right? He hit that Holy one. Talk shit, ironic, man. Man. Yeah. yeah. No one? It was like Billy Taylor, though, I think okay, was his name, yeah. if I'm not right. wrong. Yeah. All right. We'll get a, we'll get a little. Right. So, 3-1. Here we yep. go. Yeah, we got to come back here. Burrow was sacked seven times. That ties a record with three other teams in history. Who was the most recent team to accomplish this feat? The to Chiefs. sack the other team seven times well, in the Bucks Super against Bowl. The Chiefs, in the Super the Bowl. Yeah. So it's the Steelers, the Bears, the Ravens, or the Rams. There's no way the Rams sack Brady seven fucking times, is there? Although that was a low scoring game. Oh, Steelers, Bears, Ravens, Rams. Seven sacks. Most recent to do it, though. Oh, most recent. This is a tough most one recent. for me. And Steelers. And this is we're talking the defenses that would be sacking the quarterback, right? Not the this is this is in the Super Bowl. So yeah. how many sacks did this team get in the they had to get seven? Yeah. It's happened three times ever. Before this, Steelers, Bears, Ravens, Rams. Who was the most recent to do it? 
the Bears. Incorrect. Damn it. No. Yeah, that was Choking no on a way. I was thinking this could have been sausage. all the way back in 85 if it's only happened three times. They are one of the teams that's done it, the 85 uh, Bears. Yeah, really I knew they had done, done it, but, but when it said again, most recent. recent. What's well, okay, give three it, times, read them down one more time. Uh, so you have Steelers, Ravens, or Rams. Seven sacks, most recent to do it in a Super Bowl. The Steelers get after Warner or Hasselbeck that much? I don't recall. I've watched a lot of film on those Super Bowls, though. It's, it's not the fucking Rams. They didn't sack Brady that many times. And it's not. It's got to be the Ravens. Oh, it's 01 or 2000. I'll go Ravens. No? Nope. It was the Rams. That's against the Patriots. That would have been the my Rams. Life. Against the Patriots? Three years ago or whatever, however many years ago. Yeah. Yep, in 15. Damn yeah, it. Whole, 15? They weren't in the Super Bowl. Or, or whatever. Whatever year yeah. against the Patriots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. 10 to right. three games. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember that, Brady getting sacked at me. They put him Holy down crap. seven times. Yeah, wow. Man. Wow. Wow. Aaron, oh, yeah. Aaron Donald does this shit. Okay, so we're still locked at three to right, one. So but now I gave it back to one. Jimmy. Oh, yeah. boy. That was a good one, dude. All right, Damn. we're gonna go. Damn, I would. We're gonna we're gonna test your history here now. Which NFL team has recorded the fewest yards gained in a Super Bowl? The total yards they gained were 119. Was it the Vikings, the Broncos, the Cowboys, or the Redskins? So I guess Commanders. No, if we're talking Vikings. about history, we can call them the Redskins. Vikings, Vikings Broncos, Broncos, Cowboys, Redskins. Fewest yards in a Super Bowl. And a win? In a win or just Not in a Super in a win. Bowl? Okay. Not in a win. Yeah, it'd be tough to win with 119 yeah, yards. Like yeah, that. well, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I just was wondering because, like, I know Brady's thrown for, like, and, you know, some of them have had shit games. All right, Vikings, Broncos, Cowboys. Redskins. Redskins. Okay. Fewest yards. I'm going to go Broncos. That is incorrect. Damn. So, Matt, you got Vikings, Cowboys, Redskins. 119 yards in a Super Bowl. Let's go with Vikings in one of those, like, first few Super Bowls. You nailed it. Yeah, it was actually one of the Bradshaw ones. Uh, Pittsburgh won sixteen to six, but that was you know steel curtain days or you know they whatever they just dominate I guess sixteen to six. All right, now I made it a close game here, man. Here we go, Matt. Matt's got the next one. All right. Uh, so McVay's the youngest coach to win a Super Bowl. We know. Previously, it was Mike Tomlin. How old was Mike Tomlin when he won his first Super Bowl? Was he 36, 37, 38, or 39? <laughs> Damn, that's tough. Because I, like, before you started giving options, I was getting, like, my instinct was telling me, like, 30. Oh, you're feeling all confident? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, hoping so. You, wanted, you started with 36 and then went up. What was the number that you were thinking originally? Uh, 31. <laughs> 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 He thought he's younger than he's our age yeah. when he's winning a Super Bowl. So one of your options was 36. I want to verify 36. That. Let's go with 36. No, let's go with 37. I'm switching it. 37. 37 is oh, my final answer. Fuck you. That is incorrect. Fuck. 38. That is also incorrect. Fuck. He was also 36, but McVeigh is 36 in 20 days. Oh. Tomlin is 36 in 323 days when he won. I overthought it, man. So, uh, yeah, Jimmy went the wrong oh, way yeah. on that one. But, yeah, he was. they were both 36. He's just an older 36 when he won. Okay. Did he win another one like three years later? No. What the he still fuck? looks just as fucking young, too, pretty much. Why did I fucking? Um, <laughs> hey, you right. guys I thought I knew start, that. Dude. Remember how well you dominated the start of this? Calm down. Yeah, we're playing like the Super Bowl. Uh, last who's up? Night. Who's up here? Jimmy gets three, two, right? the next all right. one. All right. We all know Jerry Rice is the best, blah, blah, blah. Super Bowl receiving yards in the Super Bowl. He is 589. 
There's two guys that have 364 after him. Name one of those two players. I'm going to give you five options because you only have to get one of the two. You get what I'm saying? So whoever gets one first gets it right. Okay. Going back and forth. Okay. Huh? 364 receiving you think we need the options? in the Super Bowl. You don't think we should try to crack Name one. one. Okay. Um, we we, we I have, can. I have so Jim, my, Jimmy's got first dibs though. Jimmy's I'm got kind of jotting dibs. down names. I'll let here. you guys. I'll let you guys name one first, but we can do options after that. Three hundred and sixty-four yards. And what in the super in the Super Bowl? And one game. Yards. No, Career. just total Career. Super Bowl receiving yards. Because Jerry Rice is five eighty-nine. So I was like, dude, he is over two. Is that a receiver? Yards. Uh, it's any offensive player. <laughs> you dickhead, I thought I'd catch it there. 364 uh, receiving yards. I do have five options. We could go that way. Yeah, too. I do that. I don't know, yeah. man. I no? think we can hit this without the options. Or we just how about if on. we how about if we don't get it in a couple? I mean, it's your you have if the you, question. If you both so. fail on your guess, we'll do the options. How about that? Okay. Jimmy gets first guess, though, or would you like second guess? I guess it's kind of your picks. No, I'll, go to, I'll tell you, I don't know. Um, I was trying to fucking think receiving yards in a Super Bowl career, <laughs> career receiving yards in a Super Bowl. You guys just want the options? Yeah, I mean, well, I think I know what the options are going to no, be. No, because I have, why. I mean, I have four guesses well, listed I, I got here. Five. At least. I got five options. You got a name. There's only two out of the five are right answers. That's why I did five. Yeah. It's Julian Edelman, Rob Gronkowski. Those Vince are two Swan, on my list. Those yeah. Were, yeah. That's three Deion on my Branch, list. And Michael Irvin. So name one. I'll go. Edelman, Gronk, Lynn Swan, Dion Branch, Irvin. Lynn Swan. Yep, nailed it. That's game, is it? Or you got more questions? No, I got a bunch for you, okay. boys. You better okay. just strap Four to in. Two. We got a couple more. Yeah, right? that is fucked up. Yeah, it was. It was your Lynn options. Swan. Was uh, could you guess the other guy, Matt? Um, after because Lynn Swan was going to be my first pick because but I, I told you I had somebody was else tied with him. I had Gronkowski, Swan. Um, Edelman. I had those. Yeah, I had those. So who three. is? So I'm asking who is tied with Swan at 364 from those I'm options. Actually, I'm tempted to go with Gronk, but Edelman had that huge day. Yeah, I know. That's what's fucking with me. Fuck it. I'll go with Gronk because he's been he's been in yep. a couple You're more correct. games than Edelman. You are yeah. correct. All right. they, those are the two tied. I would have had to, that would have been my other one if it wasn't yep. Swan. But Edelman was right there too because of that one day he had. All right, so it's four to well, two. Well, and Dion and Branch is really high on that. Yeah, he's he had exactly. like three fifty. So. No, and he had huge um, Super Bowl games too. So yeah. we're four two now, Jimmy. And back Matt, to me for the question. To you. Which starting quarterback has the record for fewest pass attempts in a Super Bowl with seven pass attempts? Ooh. Seven. Was it Bart Starr, Johnny Unitas, Jim Plunkett, or Bob Greasy? Bob Greasy. Nailed it. <laughs> Got it. Let's go. Nailed it. All right. Was that that obvious? Jimmy, did you know that one? I just know the Dolphins ran the shit out of the ball back in those days. So I know Bob Did Greasy you know is a Hall of Famer, yeah. but has zero stats. I wouldn't have known that. Okay. Yeah. He can get fucked. That was bullshit. All right. All right. He pulled that three. one right out of his fucking arse. And <laughs> suck on my dick. I was confident bullshit. about that. It was yeah, like stay confident with your bitch ass, motherfucker. Oh, Bob Greasy. Oh, you fucking well, hey, nerd. Hey, you might get this one. We're going <laughs> to go to look history Look up again. that stat. How long are we going for goddamn sake? How very moist. Yeah, we're giving Matt more chances than fucking... What is going on here? This became who wants to be a millionaire. We're here for fucking up. Dun, 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 dun. Like the fuck out of here with Regis. Fourth quarter, man. This is my yeah. time. You. My Jimmy, time. This is you. 
You're up four to three. Fourth quarter, we're in overtime. This hey, is fun. Who is the most rushing touchdowns in their career in Super Bowl history? Hmm. Is it John Elway, Franco Harris, Emmett Smith, or Thurman Thomas? Hmm. Read them down one more time. John Elway, Franco Harris, Emmett Smith, Thurman Thomas. Most career rushing TDs in the Super Bowl. John Elway, Franco Harris. Oh, Franco Harris. That's incorrect. Fuck. So, Matt, you got Elway, Emmett Smith, or Thurman Thomas. Rigged. Most touchdowns, Super Bowl history. In Time their career, pack up a baddie here, you fucking assholes. <laughs> it's uh, for it's some, fuck. I want to go. I'm gonna go Thurman Thomas, man, because there he made four in a row, right? If he wasn't hurt in one of those, I'm going Thurman. He did make four Super Bowls, you ah, right. but um, it's not right. I no, know it's not correct. Yeah, <laughs> buddy, I can tell it. The voice, <laughs> ah, like that referee explaining Franco, that penalty in the Bucks Franco Rams game. And- Franco and However, Thomas both made four Super Bowls. Both had four touchdowns. Emmett Smith played in five Super. He had five touchdowns in three. Oh, wow! It was should have went with the best of all time. Elway I mean, was yeah. one. Of, Elway was one of the other with four though. He had four. Wow! Damn it! That would have been really embarrassing then if I would. But he probably had right. those when they weren't winning them, right? right. Like so he we're, played. In well, five. one was probably before our kind of era. You know what I mean? When he was young. Uh-huh. And they yeah, got exactly. Late. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, they All played right. in three but, when he was young. But like the guy made it to five and... Super Bowls. Yeah. You know, right. so. yeah. So we're sitting All at right. four to three here. Four still. to three. And we're still going to play because Matt needs a chance. It's Matt's question. You got left. Right? You need to know how much time's left in the game. I have one and a sudden death. Okay, if so I need it. this one or it's game. All right. Yep. Who is it? It's my question first. Right, you get who it. was who was the last player to record a safety in a Super Bowl game? What does that mean? A safety. You sack a somebody safety. in the end zone. So you sack like the person so that did it. Whether you like recover the fumble in okay. the end zone, whether you sack them in the end zone to you know, that's how you get it. That's okay. Okay. Stat. All right. I got you know you. what a safety is, Jim. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to know if he meant like the last offensive player to fuck up and get tackled for a safety. Okay, no, these are all like... four defensive guys. Defensive okay. guys, right yeah. on. Yeah, that makes in sense. a Super Bowl safety in a Super Bowl. Is it Chris Culliver, Reggie White, Cliff Averill, or Bruce Smith? Holy shit! I only know. Culliver's random, so I will give you he was a 49ers D back. I don't I the other three I think you guys know, but okay. You read them down one more time while he's thinking. Chris Culliver, Reggie White, Cliff Averill, Bruce Smith. Last um, last player to. I'm gonna have safety. to throw out a guess on this one. Holy fucking shit! You need it to win. Do need it to even have a chance. Culliver White. There had to be a safety what? since Bru- there was definitely a safety since Bruce Smith and Reggie White. So I almost want to get rid of those two options. So it's either Culver or Cliff Averill. I know who Cliff Averill is. He played with the Seahawks. For years, where he would have been in that Seahawks Broncos Super Bowl. I will tell you, all four of these players have recorded a safety. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that helps. That's like a lifeline. He <laughs> <laughs> found a friend that told you. He found a friend that told you to fuck off. He basically just gave me a 50 50. I know it's not Reggie White or. I know it's not Reggie White or Bruce Smith anymore, so there's my 50-50 lifeline. Yeah, so that good, was. Good math. Color go. Travels yeah. or fucking Cliff Averill. Mabel Averill. I... Gosh damn it. Jesus. I'm going to call a timeout. Fucking answer the... <laughs> you called a timeout you on the podcast. You, you called a timeout on the podcast. You called a timeout. Jimmy called a timeout on the podcast. I not in trivia. Is this a thing? 
We got I don't think it was in trivia, but he did call a timeout on the Yeah, play. yeah. Uh, probably did it. Probably did it Dante outside. It. Culver's travels, the 49ers cornerback. Maybe it was on a punt against the Ravens and that's Super Bowl. Culver's travels. Let's go. That's incorrect. Fuck. That's game. Yeah, I'll take it. But who uh, read him down again? Because <laughs> I it wasn't Reg- Culver. Reggie White, Cliff Averill. Bruce Smith. It was Cliff Averill against the Broncos, probably. Yeah, it was. It was Cliff Averill on the, oh, yes. in the, yeah, it the was. snap one. Well, but if I would have gone first, I would have missed that one. Dude. The I'm last one is a name them, then. We'll make five players have scored three touchdowns in a Super Bowl. Name one of them. James White. You got another, Jim? Five players have scored uh, Reggie. Three touchdowns uh, or, in a game. Oh, um, no, nah, I don't really have. Uh. Give me a second, though. He yelled one out like a goddamn bastard because he, he knew the answer White. right away. Yeah. There's uh, five other guys. To score three touchdowns in a Super Bowl. You should know uh, one. Yeah, I should, but I don't. Um, it's on your head. Terrell Davis. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yep. Yeah. TD's another. When he won MVP that year, 97. Uh, Jerry yeah. Rice. Jerry Rice twice. would have been who he would have, did it twice. That's who I was going. He did it twice. Are you fucking twice. kidding me? Twice. He owns the record book. Wow. For Super yeah, Bowl dude. shit. You, like if you look at Wait, it. So it's, I, I mean, champ again. No, you won. You already won. Jimmy that won. was an extra. Yeah. Hey, hey, dude, y'all can fuck off. I've been on the you run, bitch. Streak. I uh, yeah. streak in trivia. Since we fixed the scoreboard and shit and got the <laughs> scoring like the, right. I like the old scoring method. I bet you did, you yeah. motherfucker, because you got lucky as shit. I would nail everything down. I would break it all down out loud and you'd be like, yeah, that is well, true. Man, like, doing the same that. Thing. He was, Tonight, the same he was thing helping me out. I'm like, yeah, yeah. get it, bitch. I know this yeah. shit. Like, I'm the Tomlin one? Zip. I was trying to help you out. I mean, I'm playing the quiet yeah. game over here, man. Yeah, well, buddy, Victor B. <laughs> I just know how many so, you would have got there. But the other two guys that have done three touchdowns were Ricky Waters with the Seahawks wow. and Roger Craig back in the day with the 49. I know, oh, Roger, yeah. I know who he is, but I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, yeah. Him. I would have guessed so Roger for well, sure. He, was, like, he calls like college games now. I had, you know, I had yeah. Roger right here on my list. Like he was one yeah. of my top yeah, guys. I, I just, I didn't want to. Yeah, I knew you had him I, and Cliff Averill right there. You I don't like to brag, dude. I if you, I had Culver because Culver was the one that forced the uh, safety on the Ravens punter or whatever when they like. But it wasn't the most the recent. recent. Yeah. Cliff yeah. Averill had gotten ones. But sick. once you started going to yeah, that yeah, way, yeah. I was like, dude, fuck Matt, because he's on. Like you started. I thinking. was tracking through. Yeah, it, right? you guys you know, thought it, and I was. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you guys, you started convincing me in my head that, like, the Cliff Averill play, like, when the Broncos started that game, it wasn't a safety. I started thinking, like, yeah. oh, that was a touchdown. And then yeah. you said go over, and I was like, no, it was a safety. Like, why am I talking that gotcha. stuff out of it? Like, I remember that fucking well, man. All right. Well, any, I mean, and do we want to get into how I know all this now, like, the trivia knowledge or, like, because, like, what I've been able to do kind of lately no, on my trivia. No, no, but I'm Nobody's saying, like, <laughs> dude, but my, do you want to know how, like, where it comes from and stuff like that? You like, asked, I didn't say keep that no. secret to yourself, man. You already right. asked no, and we yeah. said no, but sure, why don't you tell us? This well, time? no, I don't want to get, oh, no, fuck it, man. You guys, you aren't worthy of this now. Well, we'll tease dude, it for later, okay? What we'll I've been it. doing, well, wait till next week, see if you can answer All a right. fucking He's question. taking bong right We're like eight for eight. We're like eight. But. Brad, Brad's over here picking out 14 questions because he knows we're going to get 10 of them in five seconds. It's like, God damn it, man. Like, can no, you come up I actually thought the, the oh, questions were good. I, mean, no, I, I loved them. I loved them, Matt. You should be arguing with them. You blew it. No, man. I, I'm okay. A shot. I'm okay with taking some losses. I was on a, I was undefeated for like, I don't know, seven weeks of the season in trivia. Yeah. Something yeah, like that, yeah. yeah. Hey, Jimmy. You had created a point system for I'll yourself, get the shit though, out of that Brad. nobody else understood. Victory! The old point system penalized people for missed guesses. Now we don't penalize people for fucking up. I think the old course, point system. The old system forced you to get all better. All I can tell you is all I've done lately is I win trivia contests and then I make questions. What do you want from me? I've done it a hundred times, Brad. Questions. I've done it the same oh, way a hundred times. 
You're on a cold you streak, know. my friend. Listen, Everybody I'm knows. the champ. You well, guys can dude, all suck my dick. You, I blame it. I blame it on the right Bucks. Now. Ever since the yeah. Bucks are have been out of the season, mojo. I've been foggy, and that's you know, what we got to Beers and bets. We got to get you know get back locked in, man. We're gonna be per, uh, giving out good content. Yeah, during the off season here, let's man. Talk. We're gonna get into it. We will expand a bit, I think. Yeah, I, we're gonna, obviously. I know we like basketball. College we'll get into that a bit. Here, college basketball is gonna be a topic of discussion. We'll yeah. dip, we'll dip our toes in the water with NBA. Bring your mic a little closer if you can. You're kind of yeah, it's, it's uh, being a little weird. You. No, but um, college basketball first and foremost, as far as I'm yeah. concerned, and then we'll dip our toes with uh, NHL and NBA. Yeah, and then and we'll once fill in with sports news. You guys mentioned the Olympics, which we can talk Olympics on Thursday. I just yeah. I haven't watched much of them, so yeah, well, it's hard well, to if with you it. haven't. You in know, Japan, we're good at tangents, too. We could do a whole one. We might just yeah. do fucking Let's, movies for one. We might just yeah. do, you know. Pop culture shit, frozen pizzas movies. for one. Like, who cares? Food. Right. Food. Nice. You know what I mean? Like, I think as we get out of the football season, we can kind of get a little more loose with where yeah. we go with shit. Life continues to move on, dude. Shit, I, get, I, I will say, hey, guys, and for real, this was our first run at a fucking podcast ever. So to whoever is listening, man, and watching – Thank you. Fucking oh, cheers. And sure. Fuck. the NFL season was a great, it, all the games were good. Yesterday might've been a little boring towards the end. It didn't end the way everyone wanted, but it was a fucking, it was a good game. Well, I think you know, under King like, strikes again. Yeah. The under, <laughs> I, uh, I think, I, bet, I think I our expectations were spoiled by some, how good the playoffs were before the Super Bowl. Right. We've kind of gotten spoiled yeah, in the turn- epic leading up to yeah. the Super Bowl. And then the Super Bowl just didn't have that finish. It kind, of, it kind of just went, and then psh, it was just Kobe. a grind. You don't want to want to be. You want want to be one of those guys. It's just like uh, like one of those guys. Yeah, you're either gonna be a guy that in space. Jimmy. I tell you what, man, you're gonna explode onto the scene. Or you're either gonna be one of those guys, or you're gonna be a yeah, one of those guys. I mean, that's why they didn't want my ass, yeah. man. That's why I was at Dayton. Yeah, they didn't want I, to redshirt me. They want I, me the hell out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say that's probably not John Gruden's like best motivational thing. Because if somebody, if like my boss at whatever job said that to me, whoever, I would be like, <laughs> "The fuck are you talking about, man? Like you just said I was gonna be a fart." Get but the- dude, I don't know who '88 was hey, for the Raiders. You're either then. gonna be great. I thought he was a rookie. A- yeah, I think he was that's a guy they signed. Is. I think he was a guy they might have signed in that mo- – well, whatever. No one knows what we're talking about. Right I don't now. even know who the player is. And That's my the- point, though, but I think it might have been like a like a, uh, a free agent like they had picked up that was just like they were trying to get him into yeah. it, and he just wasn't ha- – you know, he, yeah, wasn't he was the Brian way. Edwards of his day. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the Brian Edwards. Hey, well, comment and let us know how many you got right on this shit. Cause, yeah, 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 that was an interesting trivia. Again, Um, I don't like to – but, yeah, I mean – you know, credit where credit is due. The champ is here. I mean, yeah, you're, you're on a hot streak. Matt's, yeah, Matt's, I don't know Matt's, what to tell you guys. Matt, Matt, Matt's you just have ice cold, man. What I the think, hell happened? You know what? All I can do is go back to work, get in the go back to work, and come back and be better at this shit. Yeah, I'll be in there packing. <laughs> All right, I get there at four thirty in the morning. He's in there and he's packing. <laughs> Should we call it an episode there? Yeah, hey, I man. Like what it. uh yeah, then we can call it there. Yep. I just that sucks, man. This is our last like recap of NFL last until all get you know, yeah. until September. And so it is, you know, whatever. Yep. I guess we can. I, I want to say again, cheers to the listeners or whoever's fucking paying yeah. attention. We're, well, we're gonna continue to have it. we're gonna continue to have great shit coming right. out. It's it just we, and I if you are we gonna air usual this week you know we'll do our monday thursday whatever going forward i think we're gonna be you know sunday sunday thursdays Sundays. Sundays. yeah thursdays either one whatever. you guys pick the weekday i can do any week yeah. so you, sundays yeah. we'll still be consistent with content at yeah. least is what i was saying if uh, Sundays you know, we'll have our shit out either Sunday night or Monday right. morning. And so you'll have something Monday and now, we're gonna have funny. Almost we're gonna have more. It's gonna get creative, dude, because we gotta get a little yeah, off get a little topic. Now, now, yeah, we got yeah. There's, no but, lines there's nobody on schedule, man. Like we're 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 just going from the cuff. So I think uh, 
We're going to have some Adam oh, Sandler movie uh, drafts coming up oh, yeah. like we did we'll with the specials. Christmas movie. Yeah. And Movies, TV shows. Office episodes. Yeah. You know, we'll so. scram- we're going to scramble some shit in because there's not Might enough sports to South talk Park. about. And then we're going to do, once March Madness starts up, we have a boatload of shit to oh, talk about. Yeah, so shit'll be, and shit'll then, be get going good. I mean, when the Tampa Bay Rays are back, man, oh, for the I'm going to have trouble not talking. That's a whole other podcast a because, a good if. God, dude, the foot <laughs> baseball is, that's, that's a, what, that's that's what sucks, concept. man. That's Good what luck. sucks is like oh, we're not gonna get the shit. We haven't even touched yeah. on that. Right. Yeah. The lockout. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. I mean baseball wants to players, talk? baseball players work so little that who wants to talk about stingy well, owners? Owners, also owners so can suck on my too. dick. You know what I mean? What did they it's tell him, bud? About... You said it. They said that the owners the way way it works. Oh, so it sucks. MLB kind of explained they're like that the players association should be thankful to the owners for buying the teams because buying a team is a higher risk investment with a lower return. Well, that's a yeah. bullshit statement. Which, what have we it seen? Every, every sports return. team has gone from hundreds of millions to a billion, right? Yeah. I mean, the Almost Broncos all are up for sale, up. right? The Broncos all are of them sale, do go up. And they went from 376 million, I think was the last time they sold. It's going to be over four. It, 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 it's going to be four billion, I think, this time. Like, it's crazy, dude. The value of sports franchises for the arrogance of the MLB owners. Barrel. Yeah, Fuck the that. MLB owners' arrogance to come out and say that you guys need us. It's like, dude, they could yeah. play for they'll, they'll play for 10, 5 million a year if those are the contracts that are locked into. But you guys signed a deal with them, so they're not going to be like, yeah, we don't want that money now. Like, fuck that. No, that ain't right, man. That ain't right. Like that. That's like, dude. Well, so, we know minor leaguers are getting screwed. Yeah, I mean, exactly. They're, they're living know, in they're fucking living in motels fucking and beds, shit, dude. You know, yeah, eating like peanut butter and sandwiches. Fucking, they yeah, they're eating what Mo eats, man. Yeah. It's just minor league up. baseball players are like college students, right? It's like you, yeah, you, you they live in college. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're eating like ramen noodles and shit. Yeah, like essentially, yeah, like yeah. they don't like Subway is a big indulgence. And then you have the owners fishing, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, dude, fuck, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that's a gourmet meal, dude. That's right. like what, like, yeah, like, oh, a guy with a signing bonus is here. Let's go to Subway. Like, oh, he's working here on rehab. We're gonna go out to, we're gonna get Mickey D's, man. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get actual me. I'm gonna get the number four. Dude. Yeah. It's gonna it will be, be curious to see how that fight goes because the players are trying to play nice, and every time they come with a reasonable offer, at least in my opinion, the owners just kind of stonewall it. Say like, fuck no. off, yeah. Like, well, no. we're under a minute now, yeah. Bruce. But we're out of time. Uh, More to we come. will discuss that the MLB lockout shit on another podcast. Yeah. But cheers, y'all. Hey, cheers, Bears. Bears This season. It's been fun. Like and subscribe, Bears and Bets. All right. Hit that bell, baby. Congrats to the Rams. Fuck fuck Cronky. Congrats to the Rams. Yep. That's how we keep both episodes. Fuck Cronky. Fuck Cronky.